Hi everyone, welcome here. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. A few months ago, my husband, one-year-old, and I traveled to England to visit my brother and sister-in-law. We had such an incredible time and made so many great memories that I wanted to do a highlight reel video today of our favorite things that we did and saw. So my brother lives in England with his wife and I hadn't seen him in over two and a half years. And so this was when they first picked us up from the airport and the first time my brother met Zion, it was so sweet. All right, let's jump into some of our favorite things that we did. Any Jane Austen fan would have heard of Bath. <laughs> An excerpt from Northanger Abbey, I really believe I shall always be talking of Bath. When I am at home again, I really do love it so very much. Bath lived up to my romanticized expectations. We started our afternoon having a packed lunch picnic at Parade Gardens. It was perfect weather, there was so much bustling about, people enjoying a picnic, and the views were just incredible. After that, we went and visited the Roman baths, which was probably one of my favorite things we did. The Roman baths were built around hot springs by the Romans around 2,000 years ago. I was so interested in the history of it and the self-guided tour, I found it all so fascinating. It was neat to see all of the artifacts found at the bottom of the hot springs, like coins, jewelry, and little notes. Right next to the Roman baths is Bath Abbey. Bath Abbey is a parish church and place of over 6,000 burials and 2,000 memorials. It's crazy. <laughs> it was such an exquisite scene. The architecture was crazy and definitely a must-see. Just simply walking around the city of Bath and seeing all the little homes and the doors, it was just breathtaking with its Georgian architecture around every street corner. It is such a vibrant city with beautiful things all around you. And by sunset, we were able to take a short walk to the Royal Crescent, which is one of Bath's landmarks. I love seeing people play football or soccer, if you're American, and enjoy one another's company. They had picnics going on. It was just... It made me just want to stay there for hours, and Zion was just starting to learn to walk, so we let him get out of a stroller and get some of that energy out there. <laughs> Another one of my favorite memorable things that we did in England was just driving through the English countryside. Simply if we were going to a destination or just taking a drive, it was so pretty. I fell in love with the English countryside. I loved how it's so green. It made me feel like I was in Pride and Prejudice. It made me want to just buy a cottage out in the English countryside and live there with my family and bake bread and pick wildflowers. I loved also the tree-lined streets. It was just gorgeous and I definitely cherish all of these pictures and videos that we have. Next on the list of adventures is Wales. We drove down to Wales, and I know Wales is a different country. <laughs> we got a hotel and spent the day in Cardiff. We started our day off with one of my favorite things, brunch. And then we headed to Cardiff Castle, which was really beautiful and just a great place to enjoy a walk and a little bit of history. The National Museum in Cardiff was really cool too. I love art and they had a lot of neat contemporary art as well as some classics like Van Gogh and Cezanne. And then downtown Cardiff was really cool too. It had a large outdoor mall and we enjoyed a nice walk and some yummy sandwiches at a place called Fresh. All right, what is a trip to England without visiting London? I don't know. <laughs> we only had a day and a half in London, but we were still able to hit some key landmarks like Big Ben, the London Eye, and Westminster Abbey. It amazed me how a city can have so much history. If you live in a place like that or live in a place with a lot of history, it's no big deal to you, but there's not really many places like that in the States. It was just so fun getting around to by public transportation like the two buses and walking everywhere. I don't experience that in my day-to-day -day life, so I really enjoyed that. And we definitely used the Ergo Baby almost everywhere around London because it was hard to get around with a stroller, especially on the tube. And one of my favorite things was walking around Buckingham Palace. They were getting ready for the Queen's Jubilee, so we couldn't get too close unfortunately, but I'm a huge Queen Victoria fan, and knowing that she was the first monarch to live there, I just kind of felt like I was back in the 1800s, and I loved it. <laughs> 
The grounds around Buckingham Palace to like St. James Park was so pretty and made for such a lovely evening stroll. We also were able to see some ducks and little ducklings and a rainbow too. And the ducks were just a precious sight and Zion loved it. Camden Market is a really fun place to go and just spend an afternoon. It's an outdoor market with tons of different vendors ranging from homemade jewelry to vintage clothing to souvenirs. They also have a lot of great food and treat options too. The next place we visited was the British Museum, which is full of human history, art, culture. One of the most famous things located there is the Rosetta Stone, which was really cool to see in person. I was really excited to visit the National Gallery, housing over 2,300 paintings dating from mid-13th century to 1900. I was an art major, and so it was so neat to see so many artists and work that I had studied in my art history classes. It just kind of makes you feel like you're more connected with the art when you know a little bit of the history behind it. I got to see some amazing works of art by Rubens, Renoir, Cezanne, Van Gogh, Picasso, and Monet, to name a few. <laughs> Zion wasn't too into it though and decided instead to take a nap. <laughs> we ended a busy day in London tired and hungry and ate at a really delicious Italian restaurant called Mio. My mouth is watering even now just thinking about the yummy pasta and pizza we quite literally devoured. It feels odd to put two weeks of amazing memories and adventures in a short couple minute video, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Um, going through everything again definitely makes me want to travel more and I think traveling is always a good idea. Definitely doable with a toddler too. I also made a video going specifically through traveling internationally with a toddler and tips for the plane ride and what to pack and everything. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it up here and down below as well. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in my next video. Bye.